Five years ago, yesterday, I was ordained as a permanent deacon in the Catholic Church. <clears throat> and this was after three years of theology classes at Siena Heights University, and then four more years of formation in the Diocese of Lansing. And after and during these seven years, I developed an idea of what my life would be like as a deacon, or in other words, what my normal would be. And in the first five days of being a deacon, I performed two baptisms, two communion services, I served at six masses, I preached five homilies, I presided at three funeral vigils and did two graveside committals in the first five days. And while I was delighted to dive headfirst into my vocation, I began to wonder, when is it going to get normal? Well, five years and one day later, it's finally sinking in. Normal is never coming. Normal is now. And I look at the apostles and I wonder if sometimes they had the same sentiments that I had. Jesus invited them to come and follow him. And when they did, they kissed normal goodbye forever. Because Jesus turned everything upside down. Love, not hate. Serve, not be served. You want to save your life? Then you got to lose it. And when Jesus died, they thought it was over. And they were left to ponder what their new normal would be. Well, they didn't have to wait very long because on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead and he rejoined his friends. And for 40 days, he was with them. And before he ascended into heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem, to be clothed with power from on high. The advocate, the spirit of truth is coming. And as he ascends to the right hand of God the Father, once again, his friends are left to look around and ask each other, what just happened here? And what are we going to do now? What's our new normal going to be? Well, 10 days after that, the Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost, and it comes in great style and great power. And it was clear to the whole world that nothing would be normal ever again. These ordinary people are doing extraordinary things, being empowered from on high. And they changed the world forever. And they did it all without a playbook, without scientific data, and without a sixth phase plan to introduce Jesus to the world. They did some pretty amazing things. Just look at our first reading. They spoke and people listened. In this day and age, that's a miracle in itself. Unclean spirits were leaving possessed people. Paralyzed and crippled people were being healed. They laid hands on people and the Holy Spirit came upon them. And in other places in the book of Acts, it talks about how Peter would walk down the street and people would line their sick in the street and Peter's shadow fell on them and they were healed. Incredible. And as those disciples did all these powerful deeds in the name of Jesus and with the power of the Holy Spirit, they did not wait for the new normal. Normal was never coming. For them, normal was now. Well, what about us? In the last few months, we have heard that term, new normal, thrown around a lot. 
And I understand what it means, and I understand why we use it, but quite frankly, I'm fed up with it. We cannot let this period of wait and see stop us from being disciples of Jesus Christ here and now. Well, what's the church going to look like? How are we going to celebrate Mass? What about this? What about that? When? 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 This is an opportunity for us to look to the Lord every day and simply ask, what can I do for you and your people today? And allow the Lord to lead you and guide you in the spirit of truth. Sometimes we'll try and we will fail. We will fail miserably. I know that. It happened to me this week a lot. I'm sure the disciples didn't always get it right on the first try. And when that happened, I imagine they tried something else. But it's in the trying and the failing and the praying and the loving that we find the living God. The one who said, I will not leave you orphans. So today, at the end of Mass, I will say what I always say. I will tell you to go and announce the gospel of the Lord. But I'm not going to tell you how to do it. And I'm not going to tell you what to expect when you do it. But I'll say this, right here and right now. Jesus Christ invites us to follow him. And if we choose to do that, we need to follow him closely and constantly and not be afraid and not wait for a new normal. For us, as disciples of Jesus Christ, normal is never coming. Normal is now. And what a beautiful, life-giving thing that normal can be.